Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of microwave engineering. In today's topic, we are going to learn about Faraday rotation. Okay. So before getting into the topic called Faraday rotation, we need to mainly focus on ferrite devices. So, okay. So this particular Faraday rotation concept is or the principle is applicable in this particular ferrite devices. Why these ferrite devices are used for microwave concepts means so these ferrite devices are ferro or ferric magnetic material consisting of many oxides. Okay, they contains many oxide, especially with uh, particular high magnetic properties. Okay, so they cause high magnetic properties and non metallic properties as well with respect to high resistivity. They also cause high resistivity and they exhibit non metallic property. Okay, so the applications of ferrites in a microwave devices is to reduce the reflected power okay so we have already seen the concept of reduction of reflected power in the microwave devices like isolators right so isolators can be uh, taken as the best example of this particular ferrite devices okay now let's see how this faraday rotation is applicable in this particular ferrite device okay so for that we are considering a cylindrical ferrite device Okay, and through which we are making an electromagnetic uh, signal to pass. Okay, now whenever two circularly polarized wave, let us assume this is, see, let us assume this is an uh, ferrite material through which the signal is getting propagated. Okay, the signal is considered in such a way that, okay, two circularly polarized waves. So this particular ferrite device is considered into half partition through which one wave will be propagating to the left side and another wave will be propagating through the right side. Okay. So what's happening here, two circularly polarized waves, one is from left and another is from right is made to propagate through this particular ferrite device or the ferrite material. Now what happens means due to the ferric property, the materials behave differently. Okay. So the material behaves differently to two rotating fields, thereby presenting effective permeability and different velocities. The signals or the uh, polarized waves, which are gone one from the left side and another from the right side, what happens to them is that they, they tend to behave differently when they are uh, passing through this particular ferrite device due to the high magnetic properties. Okay. So what they exhibit whenever there is a um, uh, change in this particular uh, uh, change in this particular uh, uh, properties of the wave, it exhibits non reciprocal property. Okay. So what means these two rotating fields. Okay. So the rotating fields thereby presenting different effective permeability as well as with different velocities with respect to the waves. So the uh, fields will be electric field and magnetic field will be keep on rotating in that particular uh, uh, ferrite devices uh, through which that particular uh, left and right circularly polarized waves which are traveling through the ferrite devices will be exhibiting effective permeability as well as they will be moving with different velocities. This can be considered as non-reciprocal property. Okay. If you carefully observe over here, the two circularly polarized signals which are moving, okay, is having some sort of angles. Okay. So they are mostly traveling in a straight line. Once they pass through this particular uh, ferrite device, you can see a slight change in angle between this particular two with respect to these two uh, circularly polarized wave. Okay. So that particular slight wave angle is considered as theta. Okay. So there is a change in the property of this particular two circularly polarized wave once they have transmitted through or uh, traveled through that particular ferrite device. That difference is with respect to the permeability as well as the velocities of this particular uh, waves. Okay, Based on this particular velocities and permeability, we can observe a small change in the, uh, we can say path or uh, we can say the angle between those two 
was circularly polarized wave. So that particular change in the path or an angle is we are considering it as theta. Okay. So this can be like a non-reciprocal property. Okay. Now, when a mag electromagnetic wave passes through ferrites, plane of polarization continues to rotate to an angle theta. Here we have considered the angle of an output wave as theta, right? Okay. There is a change or a path change or an angle change with respect to the two circularly polarized waves, right? So that is considered as theta in a particular direction, in a particular direction and changes in the same direction, whatever may be the direction of the propagation of the wave, okay? So irrespective of the direction, whenever the waves are transmitted through a ferrite device, there will be change in the uh, angle or uh, uh, small uh, path or you can also consider as uh, direction, okay? So this particular change due to the rotation of the fields can be considered as Faraday's rotations in ferrites, okay? So you can clearly see through diagram, you can clearly uh, see that the angle of the input signal is like this. And after once it is passing through this particular ferrite, the angle of the signal has been slight deviation with respect to theta. Okay, so this is what we have observed. So a simple concept, Faraday's rotation in ferrets, okay? The change in the direction or a path or an angle or the change in the property of these particular waves which are passing through this particular ferrite devices can be considered as the Faraday's rotation. That is also due to the rotation of the fields whenever these waves are traveling, okay? So that is how they are considered as Faraday's rotation in, in ferrites, okay? That is just represented with respect to a small uh, diagram, okay?